Hey guys, greetings from Flamberbeckan in North Wales. It's Sam here. Thought we'd bring you along today. We're going to go on an adventure on our mountain bikes into the snowy mountains. It's forecast to be an absolutely stunning day. As you can see, there's a bit of cloud out at the moment, but hopefully this clears off. Let's do this. Lockdown certainly hasn't helped me a whole lot with my fitness. Oh. I watch a lot of vloggers on YouTube, I get a lot of inspiration, I follow a lot of local filmmakers, I get inspiration from them and I think it's amazing what they do and I thought, you know, maybe I'll try an adventure vlog. I've tried vlogging in the past, but more indoors, still camera sort of stuff, but I thought I'd give this a go. The funny thing is, you see these people that are out by themselves shooting, shooting a sequence, so for example, I'll show you a clip now of me just walking up the hill, I then walk down the hill to get the camera, I walk back up the hill to put the camera away somewhere safe and then we crack on. And then two minutes later you might find something else that you like doing, so you have to repeat the whole process again. Like, I have so much respect for the people making this stuff. To do it all the time it's just exhausting, it's, it's so much work. Just a simple man pushing a bike up a hill. I have to go and get that camera in a minute. Wow. What? A beautiful place. Not smooth at all. We've hit the deep stuff. I say deep. It's Welsh deep, maybe two or three inches. I think it's going to make it quite good work. Good? Tough? <laughs> I'm thinking of putting the drone up in the air and see if one of the follow me, follow mode works, but never had the best of luck with it and I've often had the drone flying away in different directions when I could really do with it not doing that, but we'll see how we get on. One of the reasons I don't vlog a lot is self-confidence. I find it difficult watching myself on camera and I've just passed a couple and a dog walking past me and they were just watching me put a camera down so I could cycle past it and then put my bike down and then go pick back up the camera. And they must have just been thinking, what is this guy doing? Why is he doing that? Is he a celebrity? Absolutely not. What's the point? I guess in public, I just always feel a little bit stupid, but I don't tend to do a lot. It's something I'm definitely I want to work on and get better at, because I guess I go to some amazing places and it seems right that these places are shared with everybody else too. Just got to the Druid Circle. A lot of local people will know about it. It's basically a circle of stones with a massive historical significance. A place where a lot of families aim to get to when they walk. I've got loads of amazing memories here. I've been here with so many different people. It's a really, really amazing place. And it looks even more special now in the snow. Um, here it is, Gigi the bike. We're gonna head down that way towards, I guess towards Conway. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I escaped! <laughs> this is such hard work. I don't know how people do this. But I do. But it's hard. I just got to one of my most favorite places in the world. This tiny, tiny bridge has been a place where I've been coming to for years. I often like find myself to be super relaxed here. You can be alone with your thoughts and the, the sound of the water just, just seems to oh, just wash away your stresses. It's just such a, an amazing place. This really is something special. It's just stunning. Pretty hard on the legs though. 
So I've just got to the far side of Talavan, which is just over halfway of our uh, route today. And this incredible view just opened up uh, the Northern Carnedine Drim and Royal Vras, and the sun is just beaming on them. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous day. As we go further left, you start to see the Southern Carnedine looking further down towards Mid Wales, the Conway Valley, uh, and over there to the Irish Sea and all those beyond. Maybe something I should have thought about a little bit more was past noon, the snow just got so soft and it's like riding through sand. I'm so tired. just got to the three-quarter gate uh, and reached the Roman road um, that stretches from Abba to Rowen. Uh, if you haven't been before you should definitely take an adventure on it. It's, it's incredible whether that's biking or walking. Which is really interesting, it's been super sunny today and if we look back beyond the pylon like along the skyline that was really white this morning. It was covered in snow and now it's just basically disappeared so I'm super happy um, I got some adventure out whilst it was still white on the ground. Gonna turn the camera off for a bit now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit apprehensive of this uh, really icy road down here, so I'd rather not bust the camera and catch you guys soon. The last leg, the locally famous crossroads pointing down towards home, Dan Vavakan, and it's probably one of my favorite mountain bike runs I've ever done, and I do it over and over and over again. It's so flowy, it's fast, it's just amazing, especially when you combine it with a descent off drum as well. Again, if you haven't tried it and you're into your mountain biking, it's phenomenal. And when we're not in lockdown, you can also basically roll all the way down to the seafront and end it with a latte on the beach. It really is special. I've had such a good day today. The snow has been amazing, the views, the weather, it just couldn't get any better really. I'm gonna head down, I'm gonna get past these pylons and take the drone up and see if it'll follow me on the way down. 